response um so we're not going to do that again we're going to kind of play that as like a special thing every couple episodes so today we're going to go back to the box which is the title of episode five of this show but i have a new box today a brand new box as you can see and uh you can probably see that there's something right on top of there which we're going to talk about first um but this is just kind of a return to basics. I figure we can do some uh, special things like with the photo albums, maybe some, uh, some other stuff. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see with this show. Uh, and yeah, we can make it happen. But for now, we're just going to open up the box here and um, go through some of my very early stuff. Starting, of course, with this thing right on the top here, this little bee costume. This, uh, this kind of looks like you would use it for a, uh, an oversized puppet now, like as a costume for an oversized puppet. But this was actually my very first Halloween costume. Um, and I know we talked a little bit about Halloween costumes last time, but uh, I mean, look, look at this thing. This is, uh, holy fuck. This is small. This is so, I mean, obviously I was, I was a little kid, so of course it's small, but like, I, sometimes I look at this and I can't believe that, like, I was actually this small at one point. Like, wow. This thing is, uh, I should see if I can find a picture of it for, uh, for another episode. But this thing is, I probably look so cute in this. <laughs> uh, or I look stupid in this, which, uh, both are equally possible. Um, I'm surprised it's held up so long. Because this, this thing is probably like 20 years, almost 20 years old. Um, does this have a, seeing if it had like a year of production on it. Uh, no, I guess not. But uh, yeah, this was my very first uh, Halloween costume, which is kind of funny because nowadays I have like a deathly fear of bees. So the, uh, the fact that my very first Halloween costume was a bee is kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on. So a lot of, the, a lot of this stuff in, in the today's box is very early stuff. So, um, let's, let's take a look at a couple of these here. So as, as I mentioned before on this show, I was homeschooled and one of the, one of the things that uh, my mom did in the very early days of homeschooling was she ordered these um, these blank books uh, they were just they were just blank blank books and um, I would use them to like draw pictures and oh wow this yeah does this have anything no so for for instance on this one I drew on the front I drew on the back I uh, I drew on the front cover, or the, uh, on the first page, and the, nothing, absolutely nothing on the rest of these. So let's see in this, this okay, so this, this one's called On the Farm, I guess, and, okay, I, I drew a little bit in this one, uh, the farm, barn, fields, hay, which I spelled H-E-Y, it's kind of funny, uh, silo, and that's all that's in there. 
Yeah, I should, I should, um... Oh, this, this one has stuff in it. This one, uh, yeah, this, this has draw, drawings in it. Uh, what's this say? Don't be greedy. People are homeless, but be thankful. That works. Yeah. Okay, um... Fuck, man. These are... It, se it seems like all of these are basically all the same. Uh, a, lot, a lot of blank pages. I'm just I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that these were definitely not my best work. Um, moving on, I, I see a couple of things in here that are kind of cool. These were uh, my Pinewood Derby cars, um, but not for the Boy Scouts or the Cub Scouts. No, 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 they were for my church. Yeah, my fucking church. Jeez, uh, I. Can't. I think, I think I did these with my dad. I'm, I'm like pretty sh... Here's, uh, here's the other wheel. Um, I'm pretty sure I did these with my dad. I know I painted them myself. G great, great paint, paint job. Uh, I know. This one has those, uh, those little metal parts exposed, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I think... I designed this one to look like Lightning McQueen, which makes sense. That was like one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. Um, actually, if you go back and watch the original Cars and imagine all the characters as humans, it's a lot better. It's a lot better than, uh, than people make it out to me. Try it one time. It's, it's interesting. Um, anyway, so yeah, this these were my Pinewood Derby cars for my church, and uh, I don't think I won either of them, um, which I, I was probably pretty cut up about at the time, because uh, when I was a kid I wasn't a great loser. Uh, one, of my, one, of my thing, one of the things was when I was a kid that uh, I got pretty much all the attention I wanted from my folks and essentially everyone I knew, so when I didn't win things or like got shafted on things, I, I didn't take it very well. Um, God. This show is better therapy for me than actual therapy because I'm coming to these conclusions myself in real time while I'm talking about these things. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that actually makes sense. So, I'm with Derby Cars. <clears throat> Alright, next, next, I don't Okay, so all this says on the front, you can barely see it. It just says best book, best book, best book. So I have no idea what's in here. Uh, okay, it just scribbles. Huh. That says kill on it, I think. I'm pretty sure that says kill. Nothing to read into there. Um, I seem to remember, now that I look at that, I had like an art set and I was really attached to uh, the charcoal pencils. So that looks like a, a charcoal drawing. Um, I, I don't know. Um, Okay, just really, really weird shit here. Like, 
I I have no idea. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's the best book. Uh, this was my Cub Scout medallion or bolo tie, I guess you would call it. Um, it has a wolf on it. I guess that means I got I got to the wolf level. I have no idea. I just know I was in Cub Scouts. Uh, let's see now. Oh! Look at that. It's the Sparky Award. Which, if you don't know um, about Awana... <sighs> oh my god. So, Awana was a church club where uh, you would... You would go every Wednesday. It was, uh, I think the Catholic equival equivalent is like CDC, no, not CDC, it's CBS. I I don't know. Um, it's essentially vacation Bible school, but one night a week during the school year. And you would go and you would like hear a sermon from the pastor and you would sing songs and play games and like memorize verses. And every year was a different level. So like uh, when I joined. Um, let's see it went from the puggles which was like just babies essentially it was essentially a nighttime daycare kind of thing for parents who want to go out and get dinner then it was the cubbies which for, was like preschool to kindergarten then it was the sparks which uh was like first grade to fourth or fifth grade something like that and if you were, if you got to all the way through the Sparks, then they would give you this this award, the Sparky Award, and I got that. Um, and then you would move from Sparks to uh, Truth and Training, which, uh, yeah, that, that's a that's a great name. Um, and that was that was like middle school to basically all through middle school up until like almost high school. And then that was, I believe, the last level. I don't think that there was anything higher than that unless you wanted to volunteer. I'm not sure if that was official. But uh, I made it all the way through. They didn't give out an award for the truth and training part, but they gave out this for the Sparks. And I had this hanging on my wall for several years, um, probably up until we moved, and that's when it ended up here. But I haven't seen, the, I haven't seen this thing in God knows how long. So this, <laughs> this just... That, wow, that just took me back. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the Sparky Award. In here too, we also have a couple of, uh, of classic, well, one classic children, children's book. Um, guess How Much I Love You. It was, yeah, 2003. So this was like really early when I was like one years old. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And then... In, just in case you ever wonder, which was like a, it was like a Christian book, Max Lucado. Uh, says, from someone that I don't remember. So, yeah, uh, that, that was a Christmas gift. And then, uh, Teddy Bear Stories. I uh, just want to see. Huh? Teddy Bear Stories. Uh, I could... Yeah, there's a there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of these in here. I see. I do remember this book. I do. I do remember this book. As you can tell, it's it's kind of battered. I really liked this one when I when I was a kid. I haven't read it obviously in years, but um, yeah, it's just a uh, it's cute. It's kind of cute. Uh, let's see. Here's another thing. Uh, I think this was more my mom's than mine, but it did hang in my room for a few years when I was a kid. Uh, this is, uh, I, I believe we got this at a place called the Potter Shed. It's uh, it's, this it's this little place um, in Shell Lake, Wisconsin. And it's, it's a nice place. They have like live music and they have a little cafe and it's cool. And uh, they sell all this pottery stuff and like plaques like this. Uh, made of ceramic and things like that. And it's a cool place. I like it. Um, and we, we used to be pretty frequent customers up there. 
So I, I would assume very heavily that we got this from there. Uh, and if you're ever in Wisconsin, go up to the Potter Shed. It's, it's a good time. So, uh, let's see. This... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is from when I was in Joseph and the uh, Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat at, a, at the Northern Star Theater, which doesn't exist anymore. They tore down the Northern Star Theater a few years ago. Um, so an interesting, interesting thing about this play, I don't know if I've ever told this story. And if I have before, sorry, but if I haven't, then, <laughs> then enjoy. Um, so for this play, I was on uh, the chorus, like uh, like the children's chorus. If you've ever seen Joseph and the Amazing Te Technicolor Dreamcoat, there's like a, a children's choir that comes in and does some stuff during the show. And uh, sitting right next to me on, um, the, uh, on, on the stage where we were was this girl who was probably like two years, maybe three years younger than me. And we just hated each other. We fucking hated each other. Essentially for no reason. I have no idea what, what our problem was or how it started or anything like that. But essentially just the entire time we, we did that play, we were just hurling insults at each other the entire time. And uh, it got so bad that we were doing it in the middle of the play. <laughs> um, and the way the way it was set up on the stage was that uh, we the, the children's choir was seated right next to the band. They had a they had a full orchestra uh, doing the music, and the trumpet player was like this. He was this old guy in his like sixties or seventies, and uh, we were we were both sitting right next to him, and we would just bicker almost like just under our breath throughout the play, and. Uh, this guy was not having it. He, um... <laughs> I think he kept making threats towards us. Like, I can't really remember what he said now, but if, in my head it feels like he made literal threats um, to children just because we wouldn't shut up. Which, if I was in his position, I, uh, I feel that. <laughs> I, I fucking hate kids. Uh, but yeah, that's when I was in the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So what's... Okay, so, uh, Hot Hill. This is the next shirt in here. God, these are so small. Um, Hot Hill was a day camp place. Well, and not really a day camp. It, it's an Audubon sanctuary, but they, they had day camps in the summer. And I attended several of these and uh they were a lot of fun they they range from things like pioneer day and pirate day and like uh like nature trail day and all, all these all these things and essentially what the, the days consisted of was just walking through the woods and like doing nature hikes and um and like uh Learn, it, it was a basically an educational thing. Like, it was summer camp, um, educational summer camp, but for a day. That That's how I can put it. But I had a lot of fun up there. Um, let's see, what's what's this? Uh, okay, so this is this is another, it's another Cub Scout uh, shirt. This, I think this is, what is, oh my God! Oh my God, yes! My fucking ketchup shirts. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's ah, uh, that's great. Great to see. Is no, is this, this? It is. It is. It is that. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god. So. <laughs> so mo okay. So most people who know me personally will tell you that um, for a very long time, I had an obsession with ketchup. Just an obsession. I put it, you know, 
you hear people say, oh, I put ketchup on everything, right? I put ketchup on everything, bro. Literally everything. Anything that could have ketchup on it, I put it on, basically. Basically. And uh, these, were, these were birthday gifts I got. Uh, the Heinz tomato ketchup one and the I put ketchup on my ketchup uh, shirt and I as you can as you can tell by the the worn quality on the logos there uh, <laughs> I wore these basically anytime I could because I knew it was true I knew I loved ketchup so much and it's like my favorite food I, I said that for a, a, the longest time it, it was my favorite food and it got even worse when I went to middle school and high school because uh, they had they had the fucking ketchup dispensers where you could just take as much as you want and they wouldn't say anything. So I would just get like I would get boats like those little paper boats. I would just fill them up with ketchup and I would just eat it plain because I liked it that much. And that's how um, the name the Ketchup Kid <laughs> uh, got got started. Also Ketchup Chris. People called me Ketchup Chris. Um, this this one was kind of short-lived. The Alien Freak. That one was... Uh, that stuck around for about a month. But, yeah, that was... Uh, that was interesting. And now, I think... Um, since... Oh, what's this, what's this one? Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, this is... This is... Uh, Truth and Training, like I was talking about before, from Awana. And uh, the back says, Approved workmen are not ashamed. I'm assuming that's a quote from the Bible. Couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I'm just guessing here. Um, kind of, kind of uh, interested in this. Was this? Uh, this was my Boy Scouts uniform. Or my, my vest. <laughs> so, and then this must have... Yeah, the, this was my... This was my Cub Scouts kerchief. Yeah. Wow. I quit so many things when I was a kid. It's unreal. I definitely could have gotten to, like, Eagle Scout if I wanted to. But... Well, we're almost at the end of the box, so... Oh my god, yes! Yes! My fucking Greg Hefley shirt! Ah, oh, I was the biggest fan of Dire of Olympic Kid when I was a kid. Oh my god. So I'm assuming if I... If, are these... Are these the rest of them? Because if they are... Oh my god! Yes! Look at that! My, my fucking Greg Hefley shirts! Oh, I had a few of these. Oh, is this one? What's... Okay, so this that's another Gun to Hill shirt. That's, uh... But I, th I think these last two might be, uh, the, the other Greg Hef... Hefley. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that's... That's too bad. Maybe this one, though? I, I don't know. That's another one from Truth and Training. But... Oh! Yeah. Yeah, there he is. I actually don't remember this one. Um, I had two other Greg Hefley shirts, I know for sure. Um, I had a white one with just, uh, like, the full body Greg on it. And, uh, I had a green one, which is why I thought these would be it. Uh, and it said indoor person on it. Um, but I, you, there's, there's a lot of evidence that I wore these a lot. Like, photographic evidence, I should see if I've can find more pictures for another uh, photo book episode. But yeah, wow. Um, so yeah, we made it We made it through a box. And uh, this one was relatively not that full, so I felt better about doing the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> this was, this was a good episode. Uh, a lot, a lot of good stuff in here. Kind of slow start, but you know, Sometimes that happens on this show, but now, uh, now I gotta put all these shirts away, so I better do that. All right, well, thank you for watching this episode of Into the Memory Box, 
And again, leave a like or a comment or something to tell me where I can improve with the show because I really like this series. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, take care. Ba da 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 da.